find me on Twitter as FreePartDude. Today we're going to be covering what's new in FreePart SSMC 3.0. Let's start off by getting the FreePart SSMC software. We can get that from the FreePart software depot. So if you just Google for that, FreePart software depot, click into it and take a look for the SSMC, which is just here. Go ahead and download that. I'm not going to cover the install process in this video because it's exactly the same as it has been previously and I've covered that in a blog post. I will put that in the description for you guys. When you log into SSMC for the first time, the first thing you're going to notice is some cosmetic changes. The home screen picture has changed and there's a few little branding changes here. When you do log in to StoreServe, you're going to see your familiar dashboard view. But here's where one of the first changes takes place. If you click on this little pencil next to the dashboard, you're able to customize it. This means you can add in additional panels by clicking here and choosing this one, for example, which then appears here for us. And if you then want that to be more visible, you can literally just grab a hold of it and drag it to the top there. And that goes the same for any of these tiles. You can just grab a hold of them and move them around exactly as you would like it. When you're happy with how you have it, click on OK. One of my big bugbears with SSMC up until this point has been how you navigate around it. And luckily in version 3.0, a lot of the improvements and enhancements are around navigation plus how we see things. One of the first things you're going to see is that the mega menu has changed. It looks significantly smaller than before. It comes out in this compact view like we're seeing now. If you want to see everything, you go to show all. I think this looks neater. But there may be one area that you go to regularly. It's not showing on the standard compact view. So let's say we want CPGs on there. We do lots of work with CPGs, but it's not on this menu. We click into here, choose settings, and then in the main menu view, we just go to edit. And we can choose the option that we would like. So in this case, we want to see CPGs. So we will tick there, click OK, and let's just check that's worked. Yep, we can see CPGs in there now. So let's go ahead and click into CPGs and see some of the additional changes that have happened. Now, the next set of changes we're going to look at is how this left-hand window operates. What you'll remember from before is that if you wanted to expand that view, you'd click on this little arrow here and it would pop out. Now, people like to work in different ways, but me personally, I liked this expanded view. So I was constantly clicking in and out every window I was going through. That's now being dealt with again. If we go back to settings, and then navigate across to data tables, choose edit. We can see two options here. Compact, that's how it was before, where we start with that left hand pane minimized and we have to expand it. Or this new view, which I actually prefer, expanded, where it starts maximized. So let's choose that and see how it looks different. We'll navigate back to a CPG view. And boom. It's already expanded. I think that's really nice. Now, the next thing you can do is you can change how spread out this is. This is going to be good if you're working in an environment which has got lots and lots of CPGs, volumes. This change you make applies universally. It's not to one screen, it's how all these tables display across all of your SSMC. So back to settings again, back to data tables, I've already been playing with this, so I've got my row density on high, but let's put it back to low and see how that looks. And then back to CPGs. And we can see that's much more spread out. There are, of course, other enhancements as well. VVOLs are now supported, and there are other specific enhancements like uh, improvements around remote copy and peer persistence management. Today, I really did want to focus around the manageability and the navigation of it though. 
I think that's where the main differences are, and there's nothing revolutionary here, but I think all these changes do add up to uh, a decent amount. I'm going to be having a play with it and see how I get on. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check out all the social media links on the screen, and I'll catch you guys next time.